Did you know that you can use the MailerLite iPad app to create and customize sign-up forms, add and create custom fields, and upload photos? You can even collect subscribers offline, and when you're connected to the internet, it will sync those new contacts right into the main MailerLite account. Let me show you how. This is the dashboard of the MailerLite iPad app for lead collection. Here we can review a form I previously created and the form tab where I can create new forms. Here you can see your groups, which are the same that you have saved in your MailerLite account. Let's create a new form. Give it a name and select the group or groups you'd like your new subscribers to be added to by checking the boxes on the right side. Now that you have your new form, you can review it by clicking on it. You can add more groups or remove groups. You can enable or disable the double opt-in. And you can also edit the design of the form by clicking the edit icon. I'm going to upload my logo right here and then resize and align it using the sidebar settings. If you click on the background button, you'll be able to play around with the colors using either the grid, spectrum, or sliders. You can also create a gradient or upload a background image. It really depends on your branding and the look and feel of your website or landing page. To change the font, click on a text object and choose the font from the menu on the right hand side. And then you can modify the weight, size, color, and alignment. And similarly, every text element can be edited by clicking on it and using the right hand menu to modify it. To modify a button, Click on it and choose the color. You can use the grid, spectrum, or sliders. And if you have a hex code, you can type or paste it in right here. You can also change the font color the same way. I recommend to stick to the same colors you have on your site for brand consistency. To add fields, click on the field section. And in the side menu, you can switch on all of the fields you'd like to include in your form. These are also the fields that are generated in the main MailerLite app. To change the design, click on any of the tabs and modify the colors. To go back to the main form page, click on the back arrow. By clicking the three dot icon at the top right, you'll be able to rename the form, duplicate the form, export the collected subscribers of this form or delete the form. In the collected subscriber section, you'll be able to see all of the subscribers you've collected offline. The sync function is only used after collecting subscribers offline, which means that even if the iPad doesn't have an internet connection, subscribers can still be collected and it will be stored in the app until you click sync. To start using your form to collect subscribers, click play. Now anyone who fills out their information will automatically be added to the collected subscriber section. Once you are done collecting subscribers, Exit the form by clicking the lock icon on the top left corner of the screen and authenticate to exit if required. Once the iPad is connected to the internet, click on sync to add all of your collected subscribers to your MailerLite subscriber list. Authenticating your app is important, so while you're using a form in live mode to collect subscribers, the only way authorized individuals can access the rest of the app is to authorize themselves. You can choose none, biometrics, and password. If none is selected, no authentication is required, which allows anyone with access to the iPad to open all parts of the app. Biometrics requires users to authenticate themselves using the iPad's built-in Touch ID or Face ID. And Password requires users to enter a password before they can access the rest of the app. The Collected Subscriber section provides an overview of all of the subscribers that joined your list through a form. Here you can click on the subscriber to open their profile. Click on a field to make changes to their details, such as their name, email address, or custom fields, and click Save. Keep in mind that any changes made to subscriber details in the Collect a Subscriber section will be synced with your MailerLite account. So this means that the updated details will be reflected across all groups and segments that the subscriber is a part of. Thanks for watching.